Hello and welcome, I'm Machine Dana, I hope you're doing really, really well. Uh, this is a really straightforward and simple video on how you can rotate sources, whether that is a media file or an image file or a text file or any kind of source within OBS Studio. The same applies to Streamlabs OBS, so you can apply exactly what I'm talking about here to OBS Studio as well. And that's it, it's just different ways of being able to rotate. Now we've got like the basic way where you've got like big angled rotations, 90 degree rotations, but then you've got finer adjustment rotations as well well within this video so half of a degree or a degree or five degrees or whatever rotations just allows you to get a lot more of a dynamic set of kind of attributes towards your sources within Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio. If you do find it useful hit the like button feel free to subscribe to the channel I do loads of videos for streamers content creators all about Twitch YouTube gaming Facebook gaming all kinds of stuff like that Discord tutorials yeah also feel free to check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine day and if you want to come and hang out let's do this. So I'm here in OBS Studio. First of all, we're just going to quickly add a source, like an image source. Again, you can do this for any type of file. It doesn't have to be an image. We'll just put a test one in here. So we've got my logo here. All we want to do, first of all, you can right click these and click on transform. All of the rotation stuff is within transform because you are transforming the media source. The main way that people choose to do this is by rotating here 90 degrees, clockwise, anti-clockwise and 180 degrees. So let's say we want to rotate 90 anti-clockwise. You get the immediate rotation and then you can sort of do all the normal stuff like resizing. Let's just go to transform and rotate it clockwise again. So that's method one. Method two is right clicking and again going into transform and we go into edit transform. Within edit transform in OBS studio there's a rotation here and you literally can do it at point one of a single degree of rotation so if i go to there and do that 10 times it gets one degree of rotation so as you can see a 20 degree rotation will look like that 45 degrees like that and a 90 degree well you can do it the other way but you can also do it here like this. The benefit of doing the edit transform is that you see the exact positions and things like that, which yes, that's useful, but also you can see the positions of things in comparison to each other. One final thing about rotations, the rotation by default will rotate it from the top left of the source. You can choose where you want to rotate it from. For example, if you want to rotate it from the center, it first might move it. If I now rotate this, say, 90 degrees, it's rotated it on its axis in the center. Okay, here we are inside of Streamlabs OBS. As of today, when we right-click and transform here, we've got rotating 90, clockwise, anti-clockwise 90, and then run 180. We go to edit transform. We can see here we can specifically define the sizing and the position similar to OBS Studio, but we don't have the same detail in terms of rotating by tenths of a degree or a single degree. We don't have the same level of flexibility in Streamlabs OBS. I'm not sure why they've done that. Seems like a quite a heavy limitation. Please let me know in the comments if there, if there is another way to do this other than rotating the source manually, externally, and then uploading a rotated version of the source. For example, the image source in Photoshop or something like that. So there you go, a couple of different methods of how you can easily rotate sources, media sources, images, text files, all kinds of stuff like that within OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS. A little bit more flexible in OBS Studio. Hopefully Streamlabs OBS do change this in the fullness of time because there are a lot of people that use that. Again, if you found this useful, hit the like, feel free to subscribe and see you later.